Well, we're back with Dr. Stephanie Hansen. She's a Sanford Health pediatrician. We're going to talk about something that might get your skin crawling a little bit, uh, tick-borne diseases. We're going to talk about how to prevent getting bitten now that we're in the start of the warmer weather season. So welcome back. Thank you. Probably not everyone's favorite topic, but it is so important to talk about so that we can avoid those things and not have to deal with them. So what are, uh, say that we're out, right? We're enjoying summer, we're out, we're walking through fields, we're out by the lake, we're having a great time, yeah. we start to get some weird symptoms. What are some symptoms of tick-borne illnesses? Yeah, well there's several different illnesses that are um, spread by ticks and ticks are out way earlier in the season than you expect them to be. We're seeing uh, tick bites happening now, mm. you know, and the weather really just turned warm. So it, it really is time to be paying attention to that. But um, some of those symptoms might include just, you know, kind of flu-like symptoms, fatigue, fever, you know, just not feeling well, uh, but you might also have a rash. That's something that can come along with tick-borne illnesses as well. And I know a lot of people, I guess myself included, and maybe this is me projecting here, but what really bothers me is finding the tick initially, mm -hmm. and then once you get that out, somehow you're like, oh, I'm fine, we're good, we got it out, mm -hmm. we're good, but that doesn't necessarily mean no. that you did. And I know Lyme disease is one of the things that mm -hmm. you can get, so what is Lyme disease? Yeah, Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that's spread by ticks, so when the tick attaches to you and uh, is attached for a certain period of time, it can transmit that bacteria to your bloodstream. And again, it can cause a whole range of symptoms from a you know mild fever, feeling run down, a little bit of rash, to some very severe symptoms, can cause problems with your heart, can cause problems with your brain, really can make you very sick. So it's really important to get to this early. Mm -hmm. When and where is the right time to check for ticks? Anytime you've been outside, especially if you've been in grassy areas or wooded areas, you want to just make sure you check you know, at the end of that day when you come in. And you may need a helper because it's not easy to see all the parts of your body. Mm -hmm. Well, I know one of the delights of being a parent is that you have those great opportunities when you go to the lake to check for the ticks and the mm -hmm. leeches. This is not <laughs> my favorite job. We're going to just try to let my yeah. husband do that as much as possible. Yeah. But if it does happen and I do find a tick on one of my children, what is the safest way to remove it? Yeah, well, you need to get it off. So mm -hmm. I, I know that's freaky and it feels kind of <laughs> gross, but that is one of, one of those unsavory tasks we have as parents. Yeah. Best way is just make sure you have clean hands. Make, try to make sure that the area around the tick is clean. Gently grasp it. And and gently pull back on it. You want to don't want to do anything real forceful. Mm -hmm. Don't want to do any squeezing or anything that's going to further damage the skin around there. So fight those instincts <sighs> because yes. I know if I see it, I'm going to just want to like ugh, yep. just get it off. But you don't yeah. want to. You just want to like yeah. calmly and quickly because yes. the worst part would be if you ripped it in half or if you you just yeah. don't want to do yeah, anything that's going to contribute to having infection around that area. Whoo! Yikes. Okay. Well say that we do that. We remove mm -hmm. the tick. Mm -hmm. She starts having some symptoms. When do we go to the doctor? Yeah, so really if if within a, you know, a few days after that tick bite, even up to a week afterwards, if you see a rash, that classic bullseye rash, if your child has a fever, just is not feeling well and you remember, "Oh gosh, she had a tick bite." Talk to your pediatrician. Go in and get checked out. And if this is horrifying all of you, like it is me, <laughs> how can we prevent tick bites yes. from happening in the first place? Yes, probably the better strategy, yes. actually. Uh, insect repellent containing DEET is really a good option that's safe for kids to use, even young kids. Uh, using permethrin to treat your clothing, that's another option. Mm. But also using clothing to cover your skin, if you can do that. So long pants, socks that are pulled up, you know, really trying to make sure that you're covering as much skin as possible. So it's good to go outside, it's good to have fun, yes. but yes, absolutely. And mm -hmm. I think at this point, probably a lot of us in the region know how it goes mm -hmm. so that if you're going out into a field or a grassy area, make sure you're wearing full pants. Mm -hmm. I know it's warm in the summer, yeah. but leggings, mm -hmm. whatever you can do, because boy, do we not love yeah. finding those ticks. Prevention is the key, just like with many <laughs> other things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much yeah. for joining us again. Every time you come on, I just learn so much. <laughs> Even sometimes things I don't want to know, but that's okay because we value you. Thank you again, Dr. Stephanie. Thank you. All right, coming up on today's show, when and where you can get some delicious items from Bread Smith at the upcoming Farmer's Market.